Villager trading halls are overpowered. If you make this build, you can get any enchantment in Minecraft for one emerald. That's a good deal. So that being said, let's make a simple trading hall that works really good. Before we start building, here's how it works. If you didn't know, when a zombie bites a villager, they'll sometimes turn into a zombie villager, just like that. Now we can cure the zombie villager by giving him a potion of weakness and a golden apple. When he gets cured, he will give you discounted trades. If you do that system over and over, you will get his trades for one emerald for each item. Enter the trading hall, a system where you can have a villager drop down into a zombie pit, get infected, bring him back up, cure him, and get the good deals. Homeboy is stuck in sand. For your materials, you will need one stack of building blocks, five sand, five workstations, five redstone dust, five levers, five pistons, five trap doors, five villagers, one zombie, and one name tag. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't that much. So go break a block and put down a building block. Skip a block and do it again. And put down five total blocks in the ground like this. Now in between each of these blocks, break out one block here and one block back. Do that for each of them. And for your last block, one on the outside. So it looks like this. You're then gonna dig these down two more for each block. Oop, that's bedrock. The point still stands. Go down two more on each of these. Now go under your building block, break that piece of dirt, then the dirt next to it. And do that for all of these blocks. And I promise you, this is the most complicated part, all right? From here on, it's easy. Next up, let's work on the redstone. By the way, I forgot to mention you're gonna want five redstone torches. I'm sorry, it's my bad. But that being said, for every single block, place a lever on top. Now, underneath your block, a piece of redstone. On the side of that block, a redstone torch. And next to that torch, a piston facing up. And do that once again for all your blocks. Now, take out your sand and put a piece of sand on top of each piston. Now, put a building block on these holes between the levers and go behind the sand and just make a one block little groove right here to the the end. Are you confused yet? Don't be. It's easy from here on. Go into your groove and put a trap door on the side of your sand and then close it. Now it's time for your workstations. Now depending on the kind of trades you want, pick what you want. But if you want to get enchanted books, use lecterns. And put the lecterns in between your levers. And just to clarify, villager trading halls work for any kind of villager occupations. You could have an anvil for like a blacksmith. You could use a composter for farmers. But then again, lecterns are just the best for your trading purposes. So go behind your lever and place down two blocks like this between every single sand block, including the last block. Then simply connect these all together at the top like this. Now go to the back. On your second block, make a line of blocks right here. And then behind your groove, do a line of blocks right here. Now disclaimer, it's time to get your zombie and your villagers. We're gonna want our villagers to be standing inside of these little pits on the sand. If you're in survival, you could use boats, you could use mine carts. I like boats the best, but you have to break the boat, okay? They can't be sitting in a boat inside of here. They gotta be standing up. And for the zombie, you're gonna want him in this groove underneath here. But I did say get a name tag, because he can despawn without one. Now you could alternatively just throw a block at him and hope he picks it up, and that will keep him from despawning, but if you want a surefire method, get a name tag, name your zombie. I like the name George. Let's name you. All right, George is in. Now the trading hall is pretty much all done, but here's how it works. If you flick a lever, the villager will go down one block. That means the zombie can now reach him, and he will try and zombify him. Whenever you're ready, George. Whenever you're ready. Okay, he's attacking this guy. Perfect. I guess he's a picky eater. Now you see, this guy is now infected. I can now raise him up and cure him. Now again, if you want to cure him, throw a splash potion of weakness and feed him a normal golden apple. He'll start shaking and eventually he'll become a normal villager once again. And we can do this to all our villagers. Make George, or the zombie rather, not George. Infect all the villagers, heal them up, and you will get discounts. And by the way, if your zombie is not attacking your villagers, put these side blocks. In. I don't know why that helped, but it did. Now, as I wait for these guys to cure, do this on hard mode. On easy or normal, there's a chance that the zombie will kill the villager. On hard mode, they will always infect them every single time. And as we wait, disco break! This build is so OP! Okay, one of them just healed, and for trades, look at that. One emerald and a book for knockback one. Not the best book, but again, this does work. But you could expand this thing, make it really big, and have one villager for every kind of book. It would take a lot of work, but you could do that. But yeah, guys, that's how you make a villager trading hall in Minecraft very simply. I want to give credit where credit is due. This design was originally made by X on YouTube. So shout out to them. Amazing design. But more boys got healed. We got Curse of Vanishing and Channeling. And quick note, if you see this where the trade is not one emerald, you have to heal him again. It means he's not fully ready to give you all his stuff for free. He needs more convincing. 
mafia style. If you want to see more helpful videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.